switches, all kinds of other scrambling that you'll get into. Okay, double grape barn will be there. Okay? Alright, so let's talk about how, what it looks like and, uh, and uh, some strategy on, on uh, what you need to be thinking about when you're hitting it. Alright, so we have a knee drape right here. We go to a cross face. We're either scoring or we're trying to score. Now there's only a couple of different directions that he can go. He could lay on his own back and, and, and let the uh, suffering end. Okay? Uh, he could fight back towards his belly, and we want to prevent that. We want to be in a situation where he can't really belly down. We want him thinking, you know what, I, I bet if I just time it just right, I'll be okay. I can hip out and turn into him and scramble out of this. That's what we want him thinking. Okay? And when he really goes to do that, that's why we're up high like this. All right? We want him to think that he can slip his arm underneath and turn in and beat us. Okay? We want him to think that. Okay? So, we're in a good situation. We're up high. We've got the foot plateaued. All right, now, a couple things are going to happen when he does this. Okay? One thing that's going to happen is his hips are going to scoot away from us. Another thing that's going to happen is this leg of his that I've got up elevated, he's going to kick that over my plateau like that. You guys see that? He's going to kick it over. When he kicks it over and tries to scoot his hips out, we're going to catch this with our toe, with our heel. We're going to catch that leg right there. Okay? Everybody see that? Okay? Then we're going to hip over. We're going to hook our other foot. We want toes on the shins. We're not pointing our toes up towards the ceiling. We want toes on the shins. Do you guys see the difference? We're not pointing them up. We want toes on the shins. Now, I'm not worrying about the upper body. I'm not really trying to tie things up. I want to get the legs top. My arms are wide because if, I, if I'm in here like this, all right, and he bridges me through, okay, I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. Everybody understand that? So when I'm here and I'm, when I'm fighting, it's a battle. I'm fighting to get these toes hooked. My arms are out. I'm not worried about the upper body. He can bridge through. He can drive an arm through one way or the other. I don't care. I'm getting the arms. Or I'm getting the legs caught. That's what I want. And once I get the legs caught, two things I can do. I can just lock underneath like this, keep my elbows apart. That'll work. Or I go reverse half, and I put the back of my palm, back of my hand in his armpit right here. And I grab that arm, and I stretch him right here. Straighten my legs, everything nice and tight. Okay? Right here, okay. We go to our cross face, right here, and he tries to scoot out on us. We catch and step, catch and step. Toes on the shins, and we work that half right here. Either side will work, okay? All right, give it a try. One, two, three. 